by compiling 173 different records of temperature change, we can produce a record that's robust, unambiguous, and gives us clear evidence of the warming that's occurred over the last 130 years. My name's Dave Anderson. I'm the head of NOAA's Paleoclimatology Program and the director for the World Data Center for Paleoclimatology. What we've done is to compile a set of published records of temperature change. These are from paleoproxies, not from thermometers, such as the layers accumulating in the polar ice caps, cave stalagmites and stalactites, layers in ocean and lake sediments, and corals. Do these other temperature records show the same global warming that our thermometers show? What do the corals say? Ice cores, historical documents? Europeans have recorded grape harvest dates for centuries, forming a record that depends on temperature, but does not use thermometers. Sometimes they harvest the grapes on September 9th. Sometimes, if the summer's a little bit colder, they wait until September 15th or September 25th to harvest the grapes. Dr. Anderson and other scientists also study temperature records etched into the layers of ocean sediments. Tiny organisms floating in the ocean die and settle down to the seafloor, forming layers that go back tens, hundreds, even thousands of years. In this case, we're looking at plankton shells, microscopic sand-sized shells of the plankton that lived 100, 150 years ago. Those plankton are distinct. Plankton from cold water environments have shells that look different than plankton from warm water coral reef environments. And we find that the chemical composition changes when the temperature changes. This warming trend in the paleoproxies is robust. There is no doubt that there is a warming trend. This record is remarkably similar to the thermometer record, yet it's completely independent. This means that the people analyzing and correcting the thermometer record have done a pretty good job. It also means that there has been unambiguous, unmistakable warming of the Earth temperature on average over the last 130 years.